We're gonna try to make some rings. I bought this box of adjustable ring blanks from Amazon. They came in two different colors, like a rose gold, I guess, and silver. I mixed some translucent clay with some sparkly translucent clay. Came out with some really pretty pastel looking colors. Starting off with this flower shape. Cute, stuck, oh, there we go. Got it, we're good. <laughs> Got it. This is the next flower design we're going with. It's a bit bigger than the first one. I don't really know if I like the shape. It's kind of weird. You think it would be too extreme to have a flower this big? Like, would you wear a flower that big on your hand? We're just gonna try it. I need to re-roll these guys out first. Okay, for the remaining slab, I'm going to do smiley faces and I'm also gonna do stars. The smiley face cutter is sometimes really awesome or sometimes really frustrating because it gets stuck like this and then it ruins it. Accidentally smushed all the colors together. No! Well, I guess there's been a little change of plans here. These flowers are gonna be uh, multicolored. I'm gonna use some sparkly white translucent clay and fill in the center. Just a tiny little pinch. Stuff that into the center. Here we go. Squish it down in there. Make sure that I get all the crevasses. It's time for the moment of truth. I'm a little bit nervous. Just, oh! That popped out super easily. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this. Well, I think it's safe to say that smooshing all of these colors together was a happy mistake because I think these are so cute. Cotton candy flowers. Now we just need to bake these babies and then add them to the rings. Look at those little babies curing in the light. Bought a bunch of these blank ring backings off of Amazon and I thought it'd be cool to make some rings out of clay. Today we're finishing them up. I made a bunch of different clay shapes. Most of them were flowers. Once they were all baked, I super glued them to these. Then I added a layer of resin to the backings just to secure them a little bit more. All of these rings were made with translucent clay that also has glitter in it. Originally, I wasn't going to add resin, but I did a tester and I found that the resin actually makes them sparkle even more, so I had to do it. I cured these guys in the UV light for a few minutes, but now I wanna set them outside for about 10 minutes it's just to cure a little bit more. I'm also working on a couple pair of earrings and a really cute stash jar that needs to cure just a little bit more. The animals are freaking out because I'm about to open this door and they know what that means. <laughs> there they go. They're done. They look amazing. You can't tell me these aren't cute. If you saw the first video of me making these, you watched me mix all the colors together. They These colors were supposed to be separate, and it resulted in these cotton candy rings, which actually are so cute. I, I'm obsessed with them. As Bob Ross would say, it's a happy little accident. I think that's what he says. I made a couple different colors. These ones are pearl. These are like a dark purple with pink glitter. We've also got these star rings with smiley faces in the center. There's a little close-up of them. Oh my gosh, do you see that sparkle? Amazing. Best thing about these rings is that they're adjustable. They could fit pretty much anybody's finger. 